Good day, brothers. I'm George Pilkington. Over the next few minutes, I'd like to share my reflection on humility. But before we start, I'd like to ask that we just bow our heads in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most humble Jesus, give me a share of your humility. Take from my heart everything that displeases you, convert it totally to you, so that I may no longer will or desire anything other than what you will. Amen. As this year is the Jubilee year for St. Francis de Sales, I'd like to uh, share with you a few of his quotes on humility. We do not very often come across opportunities for exercising strength, magnificence, but gentleness, temperance, modesty, and most of all, humility. These are all graces which ought to color everything we do. There may be virtues of more exalted mold, but these are the most continually called for in daily life. As he further says, Humility consists in not esteeming ourselves above other men and in not seeking to be esteemed above them. Humility makes our lives acceptable to God. Meekness makes us acceptable to men. True humility scarcely ever utters words of humility. Do not be ashamed of being poor or asking for alms. Receive what is given you with humility and accept refusal meekly. Frequently called to mind Our Lady's journey into Egypt with her holy child and of all the poverty, contempt and suffering they endured. If you follow their example, you will indeed be rich amid your poverty. If after all your efforts you cannot succeed, you could not please our Lord more than by sacrificing to Him your will and remaining in tranquility, humility and devotion, entirely conformed and submissive to His divine will and good pleasure. But the word humility, the biblical humility means believing what God says about you over anyone else's opinion, including your own. It requires embracing who you are in Christ over who you are in the flesh. To be publicly humble is to be so free of concern for your own ego that you unreserved elevate those around you. Why is it, why is humility important to God? God gives grace to the humble. Humility is a grace that attracts more grace. Pride closes the door to spiritual growth, but humility opens the door of your life to more of God's graces. To the humble, God gives patience, peace and gentleness. The fruit grows in the soil of humility. You might wonder, how does God teach us humility? Well, he was born in a lowly barn. He put others before himself. He never bragged. Jesus tells his disciples that whoever is the greatest should be the servant of others. If you put yourself above others, you will be put down. But if you humble yourself, you will be honored. What did Jesus say about humility? He taught them a parable, and then he said, Whoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and that he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. That's Luke chapter 14, verses 11 and 14. There are three types of humility. Intellectual humility is a mindset that guides our intellectual conduct. In particular, it involves recognizing and owning our own intellectual limitations in the service of pursuing deeper knowledge, truth and understanding. 
Then we have moral humil humility. That is a virtue composed of having a recognition of one's own moral fallibility, an appreciation for the moral strengths and moral view of others, and a moral perspective that transcends the self. And finally, the third one is personal humility. It is the personal honesty that you, as a leader, do not know everything that you do not have all the answers. Humility enables you to question people's flattery, to admit your mistakes and weaknesses, and to be more open to others, to their opinions and challenges, to your viewpoints. Why does God call us to a life of humility? To seek God and His truth, we must become humble. Without your humility, God will not open the door, and our seeking will be fruitless. We are warned that when we are proud, vain, or seek creatures, our Heavenly Father is displeased with us. Developing Humility Spend time listening to others. Practice mindfulness and focus on the present. Be grateful for what you have. Ask for help when you need it. Seek feedback from others on a regular basis. Review your actions against the language of pride. What are examples of humility? Being a parent can be very a humble job. Wiping noses, changing diapers, and meeting a child's every need for many years. Letting someone ahead of you in a line when you see they're in a hurry is an act of humility. Cleaning the bathroom of your office, even though you own the company, is an example of humility. How do you humble yourself before God? Confess your sins to the Lord by going to confession. Give up whatever is burdening you and be willing to leave it at the foot of the cross. Much too often we give something up to God and try to take it right back when we get stressed out about it. Once you take it to the cross, leave it there. It's not easy to humble yourself, but it is freeing. Is humility a gift from God? Jesus is the gift of humility and so much more. Let me repeat that. Jesus is the gift of humility and so much more. He made himself of no reputation so that we might have the greatest reputation of all. Sons and daughters of the Most High, God. What is the difference between being humble and humility? Humble, it's an adjective, refers to having or showing a low view of one's importance. Humility is the noun, refers to the quality of having a low view of one's importance. How do we walk humble with, humbly with God? Walking humbly with God is the basis for loving mercy and doing justice. Because of what God has done, we fully invest in healing the world around us through mercies and justice. Cultivating our walk with God provides the powers and passion for us to fully engage in its grounds everything else we do. Where is humility in the Bible? The Bible says, True humility and fear of the Lord leads to riches, honor, and long life. That's Proverbs 22 verse 4. In both the Old and New Testament, humility is essential for establishing a right relationship with God and other people. Humility is also necessary for maintaining a proper perception of ourselves. Some might ask, is humility a spirit? The word humility may not be a word we use daily. Nonetheless, there is great importance in humility. 
The Bible encourages us to humble ourselves and have a spirit of humility. We can also learn from Jesus what it means to be truly humble. Research shows three key actions that reveal humility. Recognizing your own shortcomings and limitations. Appreciate others' strengths. Giving credit where it is due. And highlighting the team success of your own individual achievement. Showing an openness to learn from others. Who was the humble man in the Bible? The Holy Spirit tells us that Moses was the most humble man on the face of the earth. From Numbers 12 verse 3. Ultimately, our perfect example of humility is Jesus Christ. Submit our will to the Lord's will. Recognize the Lord's hand in all things. Pray to our Father to help us grow in humility and choose not to be offended. How to be humble. Always have an open mind. Embrace your strengths and weaknesses. Be grateful. Do not be afraid of mistakes. Stop boasting and bragging. Be considerate. Stop seeking attention. And don't be judgmental. What are the fruits of humility? The eighth fruit of the Spirit is humility. What exactly is humility in the reference of the spiritual fruit? Jesus taught us during his ministry the importance of humility and humbleness. He even nurtured humility in his disciples when they were arguing on who was the greatest. In closing, I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. Let us just bow our heads with a closing prayer. O God who resists the proud and gives grace to the humble, Grant us the virtue of true humility. Where of your only begotten Son showed himself a pattern for your faithful, that we may never by our pride provoke your anger, but rather by our meekness receive the riches of your grace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to thank you for watching. May you have a blessed and humble week ahead. Hope to see you all next week Saturday morning at our next St. Joseph's Men's Fellowship Group. Goodbye.